Welcome to the Arts Council of York County. My name is Mike Gentry, I'm the gallery manager here, and today we're standing in Dalton Gallery. And we're here with Brad Sabelli to talk about the Catawba River Art Guild exhibit, Creative Isolation. Hey Brad, how's it going? Well, we're doing fine. I'm gonna put my mask away so I can talk without a mask. Mm -hmm. um, we're really privileged to be in the Dalton Gallery. Uh, we've been in here off and on uh, individually, some of our artists have, uh, but this is the first time in my memory as president of the Art Guild for four years and again a couple other years before, we haven't been in here in total. Out of the 85 members, we managed to get about 30 of them to participate, which is about average when you, well, when 30, you think of that. 30 is enough, um, enough works to fill this, this gallery space. It's a fairly large gallery space at 1,800 square feet. Right. For people who don't know um, what the Catawba River Art Guild is, could you give a little brief description of what, what you guys are and what you represent, what you guys do? Well, it started officially in 2007. I was not here then. Um, with about 10 members, and, uh, um, and as the years evolved, uh, most all the uh, art guilds in the county had collapsed into the Catawba River Art Guild uh, officially. So we kind of represent a, uh, a large and broad body of people, even some from outside the county, uh, which we have about eight or 10 who are in other counties who actually commute here every second Wednesday of the year when uh, we don't have COVID-19, we meet downstairs at 10 a.m. And, uh, but the, the Guild basically, uh, in my perspective, uh, I believe in uh, inclusion and not exclusion. So my thought is, if you love art, you want to do it, you want to participate, please come and see who, what we're about. If you'd like to join, fantastic. Out of the 85 members, I would say there's 18 of us who are professional artists who do this on a regular basis, and about five who are retired or semi-retired professional artists, and then the rest are everywhere in between, including educators. Um, so that's kind of nice. What we really do um, is uh, try to reach out to the public in, in every way, shape, and form uh, that we can through education, through performance presentations. Uh, we do a lot of volunteerism uh, throughout the county. Uh, and that, that really, to me, that's very important. Wonderful. So this exhibit uh, titled Creative Isolation, the title came after we decided to get you guys into the gallery. Um, and it's a response to COVID-19 and artists working from home, isolated, in doing their best to stay creative and create work that is still inspirational and they still like feel passionate about, right? Right. I think at first when I mentioned, you know, this is a, this, this thing is all about isolation uh, because of the COVID-19, a lot of the members were saying, well, just exactly what does that mean? I said, no, you don't have to do a description of the uh, COVID-19 as I did over here in this abstract thing. Um, but uh, you can create something that allows you to escape emotionally, physically, mentally, uh, psychologically. And uh, a lot of people come up with some very interesting designs. Over here, we see a lot of masks, um, uh, face masks and everything. Uh, so that kind of hits home as this is COVID-19. On the other hand, you have some very beautiful landscapes. We have things that are very humorous, that have nothing to do with COVID-19, but they were created during this period of isolation. And you didn't have the members actually talk to each other about the work or what they were planning to do for this. So it's, it's actually an independent, almost like a very independent uh, exhibit of each artist. Correct. And, which I kind of find when walking around this exhibit, instead of like depictions of COVID and uh, masks, what you see a lot of is actually peaceful uh, yes. imagery, a calming right. imagery, which I feel like is very important for people creating work at home or people right. existing at home now right. during the, you know, the way this, this year has gone. Right. I, I know it's a kind of interesting. My wife was doing flowers in the studio downstairs, and I was doing this in my studio upstairs. So we were just kind of opposite poles. But uh, 
what's unique about this is that no, we did not communicate one with back and forth through email or any other method. We just communicated in an aerial way. So basically, somebody would mention at our very last meeting um, that we had before everything shut down, how's it going? And some people at that last meeting said, hey, I got something, this is cool, this is what we're doing. And I would get a couple of emails with a JPEG file as president of the guild and, and responsible for getting this info to you. And I said, hey, this is cool. We're getting some diversity here, a variety, which is fantastic. Um, and I think that's very, very critical and crucial. Uh, it's, it's very important to understand that art, uh, I guess thinking as an art therapist, uh, my colleagues up at George Washington University, it's, it is therapy. It is therapy to escape all this craziness that's going on that we're all experiencing this month, this past year. Um, and it allows us to just bond with in ourselves. Uh, we have our inner self. We're able to think, create, and be inspired by, and have inspiration. It doesn't have to be something so negative. Um, to speak to the idea of diversity, in this exhibit you have acrylics, you have watercolor, you have drawing. Oils oil painting, you have sculpture, photography. and photography, and uh, a variety of mixed media as well. So when it comes to what's on the walls, you actually have a very diverse group of people working in your guild. Right, the, uh, we have two people that also do uh, uh, digital art. Um, what's nice about the guild, because it got larger and larger and larger over the last two years, bringing in all the various uh, mediums, uh, and that really works. And again, it plays off of one another. Uh, we learn from one another uh, just by uh, fellowship downstairs uh, in the, uh, in the uh, uh, classroom here when we meet every second Wednesday. Um, and also, it's a bonding thing. This is really interesting. When I say fellowship, and it's sort of a, a church thing, religious thing, huh, fellowship, that's very important because from that, 15 of these guild members actually come together every Wednesday at uh, Fuel Park or in a Presbyterian church off of uh, Mount Gallant Road, and they call Painting with Friends. Oh. So 15 of these artists get together unofficially, and they just go crazy painting and drawing and watercolor. And my wife always reports when she comes back, wow, look what I did. I say, hey, this is pretty cool. Yeah, somebody said to do this and try that. That's what art's about. So they're, they're sharing their skills, and yes. they're sharing their creativity, and I mean, they're making it a community yes. building experience for them, yes. which is you know, more than right. what we get to see here in the, on the right. walls. Right. Um, well, I wanna thank you for talking with us today. Right. You can come by and view the exhibit here at the Dalton Gallery, or you can visit our website online at yorkcountyarts.org. Thank you.